Okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, planning your PBN uh, strategy. Um, basically, this uh, you need to sort of uh, figure out whether you're going to be building out uh, niche-specific PBNs or, or general-purpose PBNs, or both of them. So, for example, if you have a few clients in the health niche, uh, you could go about building um, you know, PBN just uh, that consists of uh, uh, domains that are in the health niche. Uh, domains uh, by domains, I mean you 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 procure expired domains or auction domains or any other kind of domain. Uh, uh, you buy the domain and it was in the health niche, and then of course you you add content uh, onto that uh, domain and build it. Uh, make sure that you know like all the content on that domain. Uh, is relevant to that specific niche only in this case uh, health uh, the health niche um, on the other hand if you uh, you could also go about building a general purpose PBN which means that the each site on the PBN network doesn't really um, it doesn't really uh, belong to any one niche but is more like a general site and could perhaps have uh, multiple niches uh, multiple content on it uh, from different niches so you could have a few posts about from a health niche and then a sports post and then um, you know different niches basically and uh, I generally keep that as a strategy for um, more powerful uh, domains that you acquire uh, where you're looking f to pass down power uh, as opposed to relevance. Um, of course, you need a mix of both of these when you're powering up your money site, but I'm just trying to um, help you understand that um, in SEO, the link, uh, Google looks at the relevancy of the link and the power. So you can't really focus on one and not have the other. But, so you need to do a good mixture of both of them. So, which is why you may uh, have a health niche, uh, you may have a health PBN, uh, if your client has a health money site or if you're building out, if you want to power up a health money site. Uh, but the relevance of those health sites will be high. Uh, but the power may not be because it's going to be really difficult for you to go out and acquire um, relevant niche uh, domains or websites uh, on which you can, you know, build out your PBN and uh, have them, you know, really be really powerful. Uh, unless you have really high budgets and you you go out and you buy these domains on auctions or flipper you're not going to find them firstly you're not going to find these uh, they're not going to find it i wouldn't say you can you're not going to find but it's really difficult f to find uh, uh relevancy and power uh, uh sorry ni niche specific pbns which have power also so you're going to probably get either one of these um and having both of them, finding both of them is is getting more and more difficult. Uh, I'm not saying that you can't build up, uh, you know, you can't build up the power after you buy a domain or you can't uh, build up the relevancy uh, of, a uh, of a particular domain. You can, by all means, you can do that uh, by powering them up with links and adding more and more authority content. I'm just saying that when you go out there and you try and acquire these domains, it's a little difficult. It's going to be difficult to find both of these so in in, in um, so all in all don't really try and go out of your way and 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 find to find domains that have uh, uh, you know in a specific niche and that have really high power so uh, okay so just to explain like I've got a small diagram over here uh, which I just try to put together to make you try and understand what's really happening uh, in the overall structure so you have this so so let's assume this is the money site here and these are your different uh okay one second let me get this plus out of there okay oops let's cross that out okay so i'm just going to try and explain it over here by trying to sketch out things so you have these different uh hostings so this is your f first um hosting that you buy and you put all these three domains two of which are niche relevant one is in the tech and one is in the health uh, health niche and then you have uh, 
you have a more general pbn which doesn't really belong to any niche and you put them all under one hosting account and that means on one ip i mean this is uh, i'll i'll talk about uh, uh, the hosting and ip detection later on but just let's assume that all these go into one specific hosting account or one ip address and then your second set of sites go on the second hosting ip address and then the third one goes there so so you have these three niches i uh, sorry two niches and one general site but they're all these are your pbn sites and they're all on different hostings so they can't be detected by google as belonging to the same network and then what you do is you you can simply if this is your money site and you want to give it a and it's say it's a health niche money site and then you you can link to it without any problem from these but if you want to pass power down to it then you know and these are these are giving you relevancy so these links are giving you relevancy right here three relevant uh, uh, sites and then you want to pass down power so then you don't link from this health site in fact you may not have a health site on this particular hosting then you just you pass down power by linking from that unique ip uh, from the general site on to your uh, to the money site so that's i'm just trying to help you visualize exactly how these uh, the pbns are hosted and how they're structured so you definitely don't want to have two health uh, let's go back to this uh, i'm going to try and exit here you definitely don't want to have two health sites on the same ip because that's a footprint right if you link from both of them uh so you want to segregate them out to different ips which is what i've done where to different hosting accounts which is what i just showed you a minute ago um and then you're going to have a uh, you know you're not going to leave any footprints also i want to tell you uh, <coughs> an important thing to understand is that a general site can have a health category inside it uh, with a lot of health uh, articles and uh, or it could have a sports a uh, category also along with a health category and say another tech category and then you have tech um content inside the tech category and then you can link from those the post so the post is relevant but the domain is not relevant in this case so there are two kinds of relevancy here you either have your entire domain that's relevant to the niche or you just have uh pages or categories that are relevant and spread of course the if the entire domain is relevant and there's a lot of content and the entire domain is structured around that particular niche then it's going to pass you give you a lot more relevancy uh as opposed to just having a few posts or a bunch of posts f um on that niche and having other niches also on that same domain so google is going to say okay yeah okay i'm i'm going to give this guy some points because he is passing down um he is linking from a relevant post on a general site to the money site so a related post but the entire domain is not about that niche so you're not going to get uh domain relevance um you'll just get page relevance in this case that that's just um a small thing that you should uh, sort of uh, understand and and these are important things i mean when you're st uh, strategizing and setting up a pbn you need to really think of all these like why are you building the pbn is it for one client or do you have multiple clients or do you have a site and you know and you want to uh you need to factor in all these things based on what your target is you may today you may have clients in that you service in a specific niche and tomorrow you may want to expand out to other niches so you got to keep all that in mind and that's going to help you really when you you got to think of all this before you actually go out there and start acquiring these domains and building out your pbn uh because it's it's all related and what hostings you put it on what ip addresses all that is going to uh, make a big difference uh, down the line okay i talked about the source of your pbn site domain you need to Uh, you know expired domains are becoming you're not going to be finding uh high powered expired domains much anymore though although you could look for them and you may find them but it's not it's getting harder and harder because they're getting snapped up um but and expired domains are also losing their uh, ability to move rank uh that's because the rank brain is getting more and more powerful uh, i mean more and more intelligent and 
just putting out an expired domain and using it as a PBN is is I'm not saying it doesn't work. It does. Yes, it does work, but it it doesn't work as it used to at one point of time. But because rank printing is getting better, but if you have an expired domain with uh, which looks genuine and is ha is actually getting traffic and you're getting clicks to your site through that from the backlink that you create, then that that's definitely working and that, that definitely helps. Uh, and yeah, there is. I mean, there is chatter about expired domains losing all their and losing some of their power. I'm not a hundred percent convinced on what the verdict is on that, so I'm not going to like say much about that. They, uh, some people have worked with them and they've done wonders, and um, some people do say that it's uh, lost some of its charm. Uh, of course, auction domains are domains that haven't ever dropped and lost their age. And those work wonderfully, and they will continue to work because those. I mean, as long as the domain is is has relevancy or power or both of them, because an auction domain doesn't really drop off, and you Google has no way of knowing. Uh, you could uh, sort of the ownership does change, yes, but the domain stays alive. It doesn't like really go out, and the age stays. So, whereas in an expired domain, you lose some of the age when it drops out. Uh, Google is aware that uh, you know the domain expired and was expired for a while, and then somebody else came and bought it, or the same owner went and bought it back. So uh, the age factor does you do lose that, but the link choose you don't lose any of the link choose because the links are still pointing to the domain, right? And then you just like pass down the link choose to your money site. So. So with auction domains, it stays and auction domains, but. Uh, the problem with auction domains are uh, the good ones, um, you know, when you attend some of these auctions, and I'll talk about them later, uh, the prices could go really high for because everybody understands and a lot of SEOs are out there, uh, uh, you know, sort of monitoring these um, the expiring time of the domains and they stay online and they start bidding, you know, at the last minute and the price could go up like to anything, $500, $1,000, $1,500. Uh, you know, uh, the SEOs are sort of looking uh, looking out for these uh, auctions, and uh, it's becoming more and more competitive. Okay, so you could also buy domains from Flippa. Uh, Flippa is just a site there where uh, where people buy and sell websites that are uh, you know that are set up, and some may be doing business, and some may be generating revenues and things like that. So you may sometimes, uh, occasionally, find a good uh, buy there uh, in your niche. Um, uh, the plus point is that uh, you could get real traffic, and it could be a genuine site, and, uh, and could you know it could already have some of the power and the relevance and uh, real traffic. And of course, other sources like if you buy it from someone you know, you already have some domains lying around that are aged and things like that, and then you want to use in your PBN. So, okay, so uh, how many PBN sites do you need? Now, this is like a very open-ended question. It all depends on like what you're trying to achieve, the niche, your competition, uh, the relevancy of your PBNs, the yeah, the the power of the PBNs, and things like that, and and what what you're trying to achieve. I mean. Uh, that's like asking how many links do you need. So it's a very open-ended question, but I did ask it because I want you to know that uh, these it's it doesn't really um, uh, this this can't really be answered easily, and uh, it you need to really do your niche research and things like that. And similarly, your your link velocity from your PBNs, uh, you need to the speed at which you build these links. Uh, you need firstly you need to make sure you're dripping them. But at what rate do you drip it? Uh, that depends again on what kind of site you have, how much SEO you've done on it, uh, what kind of link velocity it already has, um, how competitive the niche is, and things like that. So, so these are uh, questions that can't be answered uh, easily, and you need to sort of analyze uh, um, these things. Okay, so let's move on to the next slide. <coughs> 